Hey guys, today is a little bit warmer, which is nice. I decided to go out and paint. Uh, I was planning a trip for this weekend, but it really didn't happen. It was too, too crappy weather. It's been raining like crazy. So I've been procrastinating kind of, kind of a lot thinking I would do a lot of stuff, but I've been doing this instead. You saw the new logo. I've been designing that for the last couple of days because of the, the weather. Um, and today I'm out here, quite close to where I live. Really nice place. I'm gonna do some painting. Uh, I brought this huge canvas. It's about a meter times 85, I think. I reckon I'll be sketching a little bit first to drawing out some compositions and, and maybe even doing some composition and color studies with paint. Before. So I don't know if I'll be starting this one today. Uh, but I did bring my magical new gloves. Hey, maybe that's a good sign. I'm not a super fan of the overcast type of day, but I just have to. I just have to. This is really cool. I'm actually already looking here and, and seeing this place as well. Like this could be very cool if I manage to. I mean, it is also a type of lighting effect, a type of season that is not of either my preference or my uh, skill set. So. We'll see, but I'm gonna give it a go either way, and uh, well, I'll see you in a bit. I'll set up.
so it's getting there for sure you know I mean this water type of thing is tricky on the tree trunk I'm not a super fan of of tree trunks well okay so it's nice I, I really do enjoy the water here so I'm definitely gonna go and, and this one this big one definitely going to be this type of water overcast day for sure definitely this is something i need to practice i think if i do this type of composition as well i can really push for it and uh, and create something that i'm normally not creating so that's that's something that's really exciting about landscape painting like sometimes you just stumble on situations where you put yourself in situations that you sort of just well, you're, you just put yourself in situations that you normally don't do, maybe, or, or make decisions that you normally don't do because lack of or whatever. I, it just feels like it's a natural type of thing happening, you know, and, and, and that's what I love with landscape painting. It's always so surprising, you know, which is really cool. I'm trying to remain as true as possible, so I'm trying to really focus on the colors and trying to get a sense of a value compression and um, I feel like it's really difficult to compress values on a day like this on an overcast day because I feel a lot of times you actually get the values that you already see in nature on your paintings if you have any theories or philosophical ideas on the subject of painting overcast days then please feel free to to let me know that would be really nice actually trying to capture these type of acidic not acidic but these really old type of poisonous greens like and it's really really nice like it's just covered in moss so this type of green i really really need to sort of escape this is a cool composition should have been here <laughs> that's annoying yeah this could have been cool actually the water is coming along really nice it's nice and abstract but like from a distance is really giving the impression that I I'm looking for or it's going towards it I feel like the water can be more purple you know and I need to cover these areas in order to sort of lock the composition down or, or, or whatever but yeah now it's time for, for a little bit of a break and uh, until, until I finish I think I have about an hour more or so until I need to go really now is the time that the paint painting the painting becomes really really interesting you know I might actually move over there because the colors in the water now is just like ah they're so crisp so I might actually just stop here and and uh, paint something different After a while, so it's nice to be finished. But I'm going back tomorrow for sure. And at that, and tomorrow I'm going early to do at least one more study and then start with the big one. And um, don't think it will be this composition, but I'll see. Maybe I'll do a small, a couple of small sketches to see which one 
could work um, and then make a decision on what I put on the big one but I'm excited to paint a big one it's been a really long time since I've painted a big one plein air so it's really cool uh, but yeah that's it for for today so home now and I'll see you tomorrow morning the sun came out uh, it's typical because I was really yesterday enjoying this type of melancholic mood in, the, in this area and with that type of light and now with the sun it's just like that doesn't happen <laughs> anymore. <laughs>